Hey guys, Nolan here. Uh, this is hike number two for the Niagara Bruce Trail Side Trust. Uh, so we are at Queenston Heights. Um, so the main entrance, you turn left and you come to the end of the parking lot here. And we're gonna be doing the Alfred Alfred's Trot side trail to start. And then we're gonna jot over to a different parking lot to do the other two that are involved in this. Um, the way they suggest it online is you start here, you go all the way, do all those, and then come all the way back. Um, but that's like, it adds like an extra like three kilometers of main trail um, that you don't really need to do. So uh, the main trail kind of goes along this path, Alfred Trot side trail. Now, um, there's a few different pictures we need to get for these three trails we're gonna be doing. Um, but first, this one, you just need the side trail sign for this one. So we're gonna get the picture of this side trail and then we're gonna start and it's just gonna be a, a walk. Now, this Alfred Trot you could do either way. So you could either take the main trail to the other end of Alfred's Trot and take Alfred's Trot's back, or you can take Alfred's Trot and then come back on the main trail, which I think we're gonna do that just to make sure I don't miss the other end of it. Um, so Alfred's Trot side trail, we're going this way and then right into the woods. And it's pretty cold today. Um, so the ground is crunchy, which is nice, but now we're walking into the woods. Let's see what this guy says. Nothing. Well, that's a glamorous sign. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna walk on this for probably like 1.3 kilometers uh, to go and then take this back along the main trail. Or maybe I'll take this back. Nah, we'll probably do the main trail. I like loops. Okay, so we're on the side trail. The main trail is literally right there, just across this little patch of foliage. Um, and we got about 450 meters till we meet back up with it. But it's pretty nice out. Kind of quaint in here, pretty cute. I feel like this would probably be a good place to see some kind of critters. Um, but I haven't really seen a lot. I saw a couple birds at the start and I've heard some other critters, but I haven't seen too much. Now, I will say there are also a whole bunch of these little parking lots off. I'm not sure what road this is. Whatever goes along the 405, um, on the edge of Queensland Heights Park. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these little parking lots that also connect to Alfred's Trot. So in theory, you could do a loop from any of those parking lots um, involving Alfred Trots in the main trail. You just have to make sure you get back to your parking lot. The amount of raspberry vines in this area are insane. Like all of that over there is raspberry. We got a whole bunch over here. There was quite a big patch back there too. Insane. I can see even more over there. Like all these like maroon, light purpley kind of like lavender um, colored vines. Those are all um, the wild black raspberries. It's insane. And then we're turning right here. We're at the end. That way I guess goes along the uh, the, edge of the property like with the quarry. But there's the end. So now we're gonna hang a right on the main trail and just take it back to the parking lot. Hey, we are just about at the end here. Uh, this is where we, right over there is where it started. Uh, there's the parking lot. So uh, that's where I'm gonna end this little hike. A 2.8 kilometer loop, not too bad. Now we're gonna hop over to a different parking lot and do the other two side trails. Hey guys, Nolan here. I'm at the corner of York Road and Concession 2 Road. There's like a little parking lot here. Um, but this is where we're gonna lead off to do the other two trails. So we gotta head over that way. There's another little parking lot here, I guess. We gotta head over there to start it. So for the rest of this video, we gotta do two more trails. Uh, Upper Canada Heritage Side Trail and another one. Oh, is it right here? Oh yes, major, I can't pronounce that, John Norton side trail. So, this is interesting. We got a couple of different, one goes that way, one kind of goes this way. So we're gonna check what pictures we need first. Okay, so um, this trail, you just need a picture of this sign. So I took that, but it's got, pretty cool. So it's named for that guy um, who was leading the Haudenosaunee fighters into battle against the American invaders. Um, and he used this trail, I guess, to win the Battle of Queenston Heights. Um, or I guess maybe this is how they got there um, and helped turn the tide, I guess, I don't know. 
Um, but that's that one. And then for the Upper Canada Heritage Side Trail, we need rock wall in kiln ruins. So this is the rock wall. So I'm gonna hop back down there and take a picture. But one picture here, one picture here, and then we just have to find the lime kiln ruins on this Upper Canada Side Trail. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, well, that's confusing. Hold on. I'm not sure parking beyond. Oh, it's just saying it goes to that parking lot and then gotcha. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take a picture of this and then we're gonna get going. Okay, so they created a 2.8 kilometer loop along with the main trail. So it's not gonna be too long, I'll hike either way, but I think we're gonna take the Upper Canada Heritage Side Trail first. That way we can have the lime kiln ruins on my mind. And then it'll just be a nice little walk back along the John Norton Side Trail. So let's get into it. So I just realized <laughs> what this trail is um and where it's going to meet the bruce trail main trail and we're gonna have a very steep climb up the escarpment along the main trail to work back towards the john norton trail oh boy but i don't think it's terribly far um and it's a really nice little stroll right here it's like fairly flat um you're nice in the woods here but you can hear the cars because we're so close to the road but what are you gonna do pretty though so what I'm realizing is this is probably the rock wall they want you to take a picture of, not the one at the beginning. Um, basically, I have a folder on my phone with all of these pictures and uh, <laughs> it's kind of messy, but any ones I think could be it, I just toss in there. But yeah, um, this is definitely the rock wall they want you to take a picture of. So take a picture of that. Haven't seen any lime kiln ruins yet, but uh, you guys will be able to see up there on the hill, there's like these two massive stone pillars, um, which could be related to it. Oh, you know what? I think up there must be it. There's like a whole little ruins up there. Hmm, I'll take a picture again. Again, I'm gonna take a picture cause like, it might not be it. Maybe I'll come across some ruins farther up that are it, but I don't wanna have to double back if I don't. So yeah, we'll take a picture. Oh, wow. Maybe this whole complex up here is it? Yeah, it must be. That's crazy. Like it's hard to kind of get the scale of how big this is, but that's absurd. Um, yeah, we'll take a picture of that. That's gotta be it. Ooh, even looks like there's like the little doors. Uh, yeah, that's it, Lime Cone for sure. Yeah, and I don't think we have too, too far to go till we get to the main trail. There's some more ruins over here. Pretty cool trail, I'll be honest. I just realized um, that was our last picture we needed for this set of hikes. So now we have the four. We got <sighs> Albert's Trot side trail sign, the John Norton uh, side trail sign, and then the rock wall in the ruins. So those are all the ones here. So now we just gotta complete this loop and that's another three side trails done, which is pretty awesome. Um, we got about 100 meters left on this side trail. Then we hit the Bruce Trail, take that for, I can't imagine it's too long, maybe, maybe like a kilometer, uh, and then hop on the John Norton Trail and take it back to the parking lot. Okay, so we're here at the end of this side trail, over Canada Heritage Side Trail. Key on the uh, heritage there, lots of ruins. But we got this little, um, I think it's like a little log book box. Yeah. But that way, continues the main trail. We gotta go up here, which is uh, not gonna be a great time, but thankfully it's cold, so it's not gonna be slippery muddy. It's all dried up. Made it to the top. Now we walk to the John Norton Trail and then take that down. So I can actually see where I parked way down there from up here. So that trail down there must be the John Norton Trail. Um, we've got roughly 200-ish meters till we start it. And then it's 750-ish, uh, I think. So yeah, no, no, sorry. It's 530 meters. Um, we have about 700 total left. But uh, yeah, it's been a, cool, a nice little stroll. 
we are just about to start the John Norton Trail. Um, I would love to know how to pronounce major. It, I don't even want to try it because it'll seem rude. But yeah, 530 meters and then cross the road. We're going down the escarpment. Gosh, it's uh, it's pretty steep, I'll be honest. I expected it to wind its way down a little bit more. Um, but uh, this mud or ice, yeah, you'd be done for. So I guess there's a way out right here, but we need to continue this way to finish the rest of the side trail. Even though this would be way more efficient uh, to get to my car, but we're gonna continue this way. Okay, this is where we started right over here. So this is where we're gonna end it. That is three more side trails done. Let's keep going. I'd like to say that was another 2.8 kilometer loop. So, you know, overall, it wasn't too bad. Hey guys, Milan here. Uh, thanks for watching another video. Um, if you like that, there's another video over here. YouTube thinks you like. Um, you can subscribe over here. There's another video over here. Check out the website down here. Cool. All right. Thank you. Bye.